Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is take two of this video. I just messed up and realized that I did not record any of the audio for what I just done to prepare. I already showed you guys pretty much everything and how to get it started, but audio wasn't recording. This happens to all YouTubers. So I'm just gonna sit down and just rethink my entire life and continue with the video. All right, so to basically sum up what's going on here, I'm gonna be white bodying my brother's car. So instead of actually paying to get a kit on this car, I'm gonna actually white body it myself, mainly because you know, the kits that they make for this car are kind of ugly. Let me just show you guys what kind of kits they make for this car. So if you have an E92, this is probably the kit that everyone wants right here. This is the M3 kit, this is for the rear, uh, but they don't sell it for the E92. What they sell for the E92 is this kit. And if you guys look at the rear, why is the rear that big? Let me just focus it in for you guys right there. The rear is huge, it just looks so ugly. And it looks like you just slapped something bulky on here. I want something, you know, nice and consistent. This kind of looks like a giant, like, L for, you know, loss or something. I don't even know. Now, basically, this is a quick and easy uh, tutorial. I mean, the, the hardest part is honestly shaping it. Shaping it is probably going to be the hardest thing. Materials and the things that you need to do it and the time you're going to be spending on it um, will definitely be worth it in the long run when you actually finish it because this kit's maybe around $1,200 and that's a lot of time. Like when I used to work at my local grocery store, $1,200, it took me probably a good two months. Now, I'd either be working there for two months or I'd rather be working on my car for two months and, you know, tell everybody I made the white body kit. I'd rather be telling everybody I'd be working on my own white body kit. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so you guys can do it at home. And uh, for those of you who have an E90 like me, you'll actually be able to make a kit that actually works with your door because you guys know for the rear, the door gets in the way for the rear body kit. So I'm gonna be doing it on my car if it turns out pretty sick on my brothers. We're doing it on my brothers mainly because the rear quarter panel is messed up and we don't wanna get it fixed. We're gonna end up cutting it and just putting a wide body on it. So win-win right there. Got a new door, got a new fender and the headlights coming in, my brother ordered it. So everything is coming up really clean with this car. Um, I think the only other issue other than the quarter panel is the engine. Um, not something like serious, but when you start up the car, it takes very long to start up. It starts up, and once it starts up, it's fine. It just takes forever. But uh, without further ado, let me show you guys what kind of materials you need to get this wide body kit on your car. So what I'm using is just some regular masking tape. Um, this big gap filler, great stuff. Uh, this works for like rusts or anything you wanna do with your car. So my practice run yesterday, if you guys take a look at the material right here, this is after it was frozen. Um, like, you know, when it's done, it's, it's solid now. When you squish it, it comes right back out. It's actually really, really, it feels really good. Like, I feel like the wide body, after you um, use the foam, you can just, you know, use some filler to fill in all this extra stuff. And then once you do that, wrap it with, um, you wanna end up wrapping it with fiberglass. And once you do that, the, the, you know, the wide body should be pretty much done. That's all it takes. Honestly, the most expensive thing about the wide body kit uh, that you're paying for is their time. It takes a lot of time to make it. it, it some people even use, you know, CAD and engineering softwares to make this stuff. So um, it, it is, you know, a lengthy process to make it, but the material they use costs them maybe less than, you know, 30 bucks per kit. Um, so this is something you guys can do for $30. Uh, I'm using about one can for one door. Me, because I know I'm gonna mess up, but you can probably use one can for, you know, two quarter panels and then the two fenders uh, with another can, whatever you guys choose to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and use all the foam I need on the rear so I can shape it the best I can so I uh, hide all these ugly looking dents. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to prep the, the pretty much the um, quarter panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a good wash, wash it up a little bit. That's probably not gonna be on video because you guys probably don't care, but I'm gonna be rinsing it off, you know, just using some, some cleaners to clean it off. Then after that, I'm gonna use some cardboard to tuck it underneath and get the shape that I want. So when the foam, when you actually spray it on, it doesn't fall on the ground, it falls on the board, and you can make your shape. Now imagine if I was actually serious and I told you guys that was a finished product. I hate when people actually do that. They actually make some clickbait stuff, and then they put some something like that, and then they just drive off their car. This ain't clickbait, this is for real. I'm actually serious. So I just got the, uh, you know, the text the text boxes, whatever, the boxes, not text boxes, what am I saying? I got, I got so much finals things going on through my head. If you guys have finals next week, let me know down in the comments, because I hate finals. Um, I gotta start studying for that right after this uh, video right here. Um, so pretty much I prepped it from the bottom right there. So as you guys can see, I got it from the bottom right there, all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be able to hold up the foam uh, when, you clip, when you spray the foam all over it. Now I feel like that's wide enough. I don't know if I should go any wider to be honest, but uh, I think it's definitely wide enough. My, I don't think my brother wants that wide of a wide body kit on there. He wants something that's practical as well. I think this is definitely doable. 
we are not measuring this or anything. We're just gonna go like full YOLO on this. And uh, if we like the how it looks and the dimensions and everything, we're gonna go ahead and uh, apply it to every other corner. But right now, we've been working on that side because that is a hideous side. And we just wanna see if the wide body kit actually really does cover it all. That's right guys, I'm officially done with the taping off. It looks actually so sick just taping it all off. So you guys look at it, I'm taped off more than I should have, but that's just basically, I'm trying to be safe. Um, I might tape a little bit more up here, mainly because, you know, just in case I might wanna go over there, it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Uh, the fender, it doesn't come out as much over here than it does up here, so I might add a little bit more boxes, but uh, it should be fine, honestly. I think it's gonna hold up. Should, yeah, it should be fine. I might pull those boxes out just a little bit, uh, but yeah. Once I pull those out and get everything ready, I'm gonna start putting on the foam up there. Alright guys, so I let it cure for a little bit. I want to see if the foam actually expands. Let me show you guys how the foam looks right now. So that's how the foam looks. It really looks like spaghetti um, all the way down. As you guys can see, the dents are still there. Um, and, you know, the line is right here. I mean, this is a very, very, very low uh, wide body. So what I'm thinking is uh, I need to get a lot more foam and basically base it off this line right here. Hey guys, this is day two of the foam. So uh, basically, I don't want to end the video with just a little bit of foam. I added a little bit more last night. I used two cans. Um, actually, I ended up using three cans just for that. So I'm actually got another can just in case. I want to fill that in down there. So if you guys see that, it's clearly not filled in. I want to fill it in as much as possible. I want to pretty much get a really, really bulky structure and then, you know, mold it into the shape that I want. So we're not there yet, but I'm gonna add a little bit more foam and uh, see where that gets us. Okay, do you think this is wide enough right here, or should it go like, kind of like that? I don't know, is that wide Just enough? Just leave it to dry and see what it can do next. Yeah. All right, so as you guys can see, it is. A, I put a lot, lot more. I probably put an extra, like, two cans. So I'm starting to think that I'm doing this not 100% right. This is my first try, so I mean, obviously it's not gonna be right the first time, but I am learning. So it looks like you have to put a good amount, then leave it for a few hours and put more over the parts that's already dried out. Because when you keep stacking it on top of each other, it just continues to fall because there's no support. It's really, really like very soft foam, so it just keeps going to the bottom. I'm just gonna wait for this to dry off, guys, and then I'm gonna fill in right there, and that should be it pretty much. Um, that's like a whole lot that shouldn't be that much, but that is just so much, but that is definitely gonna be fine. Uh, all around there seems to be fine. Um, I'm just gonna be filling that in uh, once this all dries out, so I'm gonna give it 24 hours and uh, work on that later. All right guys, so this is later in the night, as you guys can see. I'm not really in the mood to go to bed. This thing just looks so good. As you guys can see, I also started sanding it a little bit. You can see the shape coming along. If I come on over here against the car, you guys can see, I don't know if I can put the camera at an angle. It's coming along, it's coming along. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit you guys down over here and I'm gonna continue sanding it off. Guys, I look like a mess. Look at me. Oh my goodness. Basically, I don't know if you guys can see a lot of dirt everywhere. Not the dope, but the foam, the foam, you know, and it's got cut and everything. We're, we have something going. The wide body is coming together. This bottom part, we still need to cut it down like that. So uh, that's going to be cut off. But uh, right now, I'm kind of tired. I've been working on this for a little bit. Um, if you guys look at it right here, 
is coming together. If you look at it right back here, yeah, that's looking really good. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, just make this one as is, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. Like when I finish it all and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it and apply it to the like to the other side to make sure they're identical. But right now, I'm just gonna make this one as is, no measurements, no nothing, just how I like it. And then I'll measure it and do the exact same on the other side. All right guys, so that's gotta conclude today's video. Um, this is like three days worth of work, mainly because of, I have to wait you know, with the foam and everything. It wasn't that much work, but it takes a lot of patience. Um, but yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button. Make sure you share this video so I can, you know, the more shares you guys have, the, you know, the more views this video gets, that actually shows how much you guys really want, you know, this project to go through. My brother's kind of debating whether we should just to fix the quarter panel or to go for, uh, you know, just continue with this wide body. So if you guys really want me to just finish up the wide body of the entire car, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know down in the comments. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this video, again, smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy, you know.